Welcome to Germany vs. USA. Today we're here in San Francisco at um, Pier 39 slash Fisherman's Wharf slash Girardelli Square and Fleet Week's going on. Dear man, what's Fleet Week? Well, Fleet Week is where the U.S. Navy comes in and uh, they put on an air show. The uh, Blue Angels just got done flying. Uh, they bring in some boats into port. You can uh, tour, and it's really just for civilians like us to, uh, you know, get a get to look at the military. You know, kind of see what their life is about, and you know, they put on a great show. Have you ever been to like an air show or anything like that in Germany? Um. No, I don't. I don't know if we have that many of them. Have you never even been on like a famous German U-boat or anything? Yeah, I don't know a famous German U-boat. <laughs> the first time I went to uh, Germany, I think one of the most surprising things to me was just kind of how anti-military the the Germans are. Today, yeah. I, I I did not expect that. I guess now looking back on it, it makes it makes a lot of sense, but. I was very, yeah, very shocked. I think a lot of people still expect the Germans to be militaristic and have that kind of militaristic view, but, but we don't. In school, like we don't learn anything about like about military. Like for example, about World War II, you know, we learn a lot about the, the the politics, about the history, but we basically learn nothing about military. It's almost kind of disappointing to me that like y'all look down upon it. Like like even the soldiers or when you walk, drive around here uh, in the U.S., you often see like cars with you know like I support our troops you would never see that in Germany. We don't appreciate like our our military at all. I mean, you guys, you know, you support your troops and I I think I want to make something clear here. I think a lot of a lot of Europeans have the misunderstanding that if if Americans support their troops, they're supporting, you know, a certain political way, but that's not that's not um that's not the thing. It's more you're supporting your people. There. You're supporting, you know, the people who are uh, defending your freedom or support, you know, who are fighting for your country. Um, it has nothing to do with the political way you're going. Just because, you know, I want my cousins or, you know, my friends or whatnot to come home and, you know, because you know, I'm supporting them, you know, it has nothing to, uh, nothing to do with politics. It's, you know, I I'm, I'm just want to look out after my fellow Americans. So it's, it's kind of weird to me that y'all still have the draft. Yeah, in Germany we still have the military draft and Nobody really knows why. It's kind of like there, there have been discussions about you know getting rid of it, but yeah, we still have the military draft. So theoretically, every man you know at the age of like 16, 17, 18, depending on when you finish school, supposed to go to the military for nine months. And but fact is now that about a third go to the military, a third do like a civil, a social service instead. You can do that. You have to write like a letter and give certain reasons why you can go to the army while you don't want to go to the army and another third just gets out because they had some kind of I don't know like allergy or you know mm -hmm. asthma when they were young and asthma well yeah it's pretty easy to get out you know if you have a little like your bag is like a little itchy it's like yeah you don't need to go is it looked down on though to get out that easy no, kind of like no not at all it's more looked down on to go to the military military actually you were a uh, civvy yeah right? that's that's the social service civil dienst C mm -hmm. oh, yeah I'm a, I was a civvy and so, are you paid the same as like a, a German who goes into the mi military, or is yeah, it's it's the same length. Though you do the, the social duty for nine months, the military for nine months, and both are same. It's the same amount of money you get, yeah. And you said a third don't even don't even do either. They just get out. They just don't do anything of them. That's that's crazy because you'd think if they were unfit, you know, if they had asthma, they would at least be forced to do you know the civvy duty. Yeah. No. No, they aren't. So every man at a certain age, you know, like 18, 19, 17, they go to the to the physical, physical examination. Mm -hmm. And um, so if you say you want to go to the army and you have those kind of things, you know, like allergy or, you know, your foot are weird or your back hurts or something, um, they say, oh, since you want to go to the military but you can't, you don't have to do the social duty. It's fine. You just can go. So it's a loophole. It's kind of a loophole, but everybody knows about it and it's totally obvious. And they actually, they don't have enough spots for the military people. Like they can't fit... Er if, er even, you know, if you want to go to the military, there are not enough spots for you. Seems like a broken system to me. It's, it's totally screwed up and they should fix it. When Jim visited me in Germany, you know, I, you met with my friends and stuff and uh, some of my friends asked him if you were a patriot and of course Jim answered. Of course. And my friends, they were surprised. I didn't get asked this question once or twice. I mean, literally, I, I heard it over and over again. Are you a patriot? And, you know, the very first time I heard it, I was just like, of course I'm a patriot, you know, are you not? You know, and to me it was very surprising that some of your friends and some of the Germans I've met aren't, you know, aren't proud of their country. I think a lot of people just don't don't really know if they are kind of like allowed to feel patriotism about their own country, about Germany. Because what happened in World War II really 
is it's in our head, and I think that kind of like blocks our uh, patriotism, and uh, blocks us to be proud of uh, of our country. But it's become better in the last in the last couple of years, I, I think. It took me it took me probably you know, a year of knowing Alex before I kind of started to understand a lot of the a lot of the differences, and uh, I. You know, it's not something that I think you can go over there for like a week and and, yeah. really, and really learn. It, it it takes it takes time. So military and politics is never an easy topic, but uh, we hope y'all enjoyed the show, learned uh, a few things, different things about Germany and uh, the USA, and y'all take it easy. Auf Wiedersehen.